I'm still putting the brand new MacBook Pro through its paces, but I'll have a review soon. In the meantime, I wanna talk about something that is as old as cave painting, but as important as the science fiction future that we're hurtling towards. And yeah, unbelievably, probably seethingly to some of you, I'm talking about emoji and animoji. But here's why. In honor of hashtag World Emoji Day, Apple has announced that more than 70 new emoji characters are coming to iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and Mac later this year, presumably as part of the big fall updates. They're based on new characters approved as part of the Unicode 11.0 spec and include more diversity in hair, new facial expressions and effects, new animals, more food, more sports, more symbols. You get the idea. So why? Why is this a thing, much less news? Why am I talking about it? Well, one, because we're human and as much as writing evolved to help us record our stories, text as a means of short form communication is still emotionless and sterile. Language came from pictures. Some languages are still pictographic and emojis resonate for precisely that reason. The pictures very literally say not a thousand words, but dozens of feelings. Text your significant other that you're running late and it might mean anger or an argument. Text a running figure, a sad face and a red alert. And well, <laughs> maybe it still means anger and argument Argument, but maybe it also means a laugh and a head shake instead. We've seen new emoji get some of the loudest cheers at Apple announcements. And when new emoji are included in the updates, they encourage some of the biggest upgrade numbers. So even though some of us like to roll our eyes, shake our heads, or try to pretend we're way too cool for emoji, if we don't understand the appeal, we're really just proving how out of touch we are with our own humanity and ourselves. Screw 280 characters on Twitter. If all they allowed were emoji, I'm convinced half of the problems in this world would disappear overnight. Well, maybe not, but we'd be much more likely to be laughing instead of crying. Number two, it's even more important when it comes to things like Animoji. Apple is also celebrating hashtag World Emoji Day by memojifying its leadership page. On the surface, it looks like a lighthearted, self-effacing way for Tim Cook, Angela Ahrens, Johnny Ive, Craig Federici et al. to have a little fun and be perceived as a little more human and in touch. And that's really nice PR. But wow, Johnny Ive doesn't even let himself smile, not even in memoji form. Craig Federighi really, really downplayed the hair. And it's great to see John Giandrea on the leadership page. His ML team is as critical to the future as Johnny Saruji's Silicon team has been to the present. Beyond that, we're about to go through the biggest transition in human interface in human history. Command lines and GUI will have nothing on the AR and voice driven future. We won't just see interfaces, we'll be in them. And we won't just interface with them, they'll interface right back with us. Throwing people into that directly will be disastrous, like throwing someone from a cave into a disco. So Apple and others are introducing enhanced reality slowly and carefully in ways the mainstream are best equipped to understand it, games and avatars. It's a candy coating around a paradigm shift, but that's why we have candy coatings. Games are fun, we'll engage with them. Avatars are, by their nature, very humanizing and we'll bond with them. You can look at things like Animoji and Mimoji as gimmicks that people will try once or twice and then never look at again, and that's fine, but you'll be missing out on the bigger picture. The people having tried them even once or twice, and in so doing, tried out face tracking and expression matching and creating an AR representation of themselves, becoming comfortable with that. That's one step closer to what comes next. Right now we have iPhones and we're moving towards more and more independent Apple watches, but I don't think it's too far fetched to say that in the near future, we'll have little marbles or mother boxes that'll handle local authentication and cloud connection. And then anytime we need an interface, it'll just take over whatever piece of glass is convenient or create AR environments inside the glasses that we'll all be wearing, and eventually the contact lenses, and eventually whatever it is that hacks the photons on their way to our neural receptors. That's what we're moving towards. If you just took somebody and all of a sudden said, you have to exist in an AR world, that would be frustrating, that would be stressful, that would be disconcerting, but now everybody is already gonna be used to it. They're gonna be used to it through the games, and they're gonna be used to it by building little virtual versions of themselves that already exist in augmented reality worlds. It's not gonna be uncomfortable, it's not gonna be alienating, it's not gonna be scary. It's gonna be something they've already gotten used to doing. It's gonna be something they've gotten used to doing every day. You can look at it as a simple implementation of the classic boil the frog strategy, but that's what makes it so effective, especially when you're getting the frog to help boil itself. If Apple's leadership signing off on this bit not only brings a smile to some of its customer base, but helps thaw out and encourage even a few of the stiffer coffee
callers out there to give Animoji a try as well, that's half the battle. The other half is building this new enhanced world. Just like web programmers went from zero to hero, then app developers, AR creation is gonna become the next big digital domain. And if you know how to build AR worlds and characters, you'll be able to set your own destiny. That's why I was looking at classes over the weekend and found a ton of great stuff right on Skillshare. Everything from AR kit and Unity 3D, creating augmented reality apps, to complete AR core and AR kit gaming developer, creating multiplayer games in augmented reality. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, visit the link in the description and get two months of unlimited access to over 20,000 classes for free. Try AR, try anything. If you don't like it, just move on to the next thing. But I think you'll love it. Act now for the special offer and start learning today. Thank you so much, Skillshare. So that's why I think everything from Emoji to Animoji are so important. And now I want to know what you think. Do you use them? What do you think of augmented reality operating systems? Are they going to be the next big thing? Hit like, hit subscribe, and then let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.